Hello, Virgin, Virgo, the Virgin. Uh, you analyze, and uh, we have a lot to go through for this month. I'm Noelle with followtheplanets.com, also on Facebook and Instagram. I read astrology and tarot. And um, what we have to talk about this month are the eclipses. I'm going to start there. Go ahead and check out my videos about eclipses. Uh, they're very informative as well as about Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde too. Um, so get your notepad out, Virgo. I know you're organized and your calendar. I do jump around. So it's good to take notes first and then put it in your calendar. So June 5th, we have a lunar full moon eclipse and this is in your fourth house in Sagittarius so uh, what this is saying is that something is coming to an end an accumulation something being exposed here um, in your home something domestic um, and that can include your family your roots uh, your security, self-care, something feminine, it's emotional, and um, and it's mother-related. And um, and this, it's it's an ending about the full picture, the whole, the whole, the big picture, the whole view. Um, you know about the philosophy of it, and um, you know a higher education and wisdom about this in your home. And um, this one is, of the eclipses, this one is a rough one. Uh, there is conflict in how you want to take action in a contractual partnership. Um, how you want to take action in this partnership, which is, uh, which is, it could be a business partner, a marriage, it's about, um, equality it's about sharing and these aren't getting along um, it could have to do with an institution or something spiritual something creative as well so what I suggest that you do and this is really perfect for you and you probably are already organized Virgo but get organized if you're not um, um, organize what it is that you want for you, yourself, how you want to express yourself, your identity, your, your creative life force, and what you are, your purpose. So really organize that um, and really you could journal it and write down what it is that um, you want for yourself. Um, exercise is really important now and so is eating healthy um, you know really get all of these things written down in a in a calendar with a, a very structured time day-to-day -day type of functional activities that you're doing and and really put that diet in there plan that diet and plan to exercise in each day and that will help you through this time of of uh conflict now we're going to move on to june 20th we have a solar eclipse new moon new beginnings it this one's strong and it is in your uh, 11th house and that's um house of hopes and dreams your friends a new beginning in this area groups um, it's about social awareness and f the future humanitarianism and um this new beginning is 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 going to have to come up for review because mercury your ruler is retrograde in the same house same sign here in the 11th house in cancer it's uh it, it's about reviewing uh groups reviewing your hopes and wishes reviewing your friends in order to move forward reevaluating reanalyzing rewriting redoing restructuring any of those type of things are what it is that you want to do with mercury retrograde which i'll go into more later but the fact that 
this new beginning in the same house and sign is where this solar eclipse is, um, you're going to find that although you want to start something new in this area, uh, and again, it does re involve your home, family, security, security, family, uh, home, something feminine. So uh, that's up for review in, this in, the, in a group, friends and hopes and dreams. So um, that's what to watch for. On July 4th, we have uh, another lunar eclipse, a full moon lunar eclipse. And this is in your fifth house of creativity. And it could have to do with getting creative, being an entrepreneur in your career, um, in your community reputation, uh, something that is involves authority, um, you know, a, a, a tried and true structure, um, but getting creative in that. And, and this is a positive one, although Mercury is still retrograde in that in that hopes and dreams home area of your life there is a positive aspect here where um where this creativity this uh, um something ending in something that's creative career related love romance sex fun play entertainment something is exposed here but there's um there's uh, something that is very harmonious with how you can be propelled into the future in a very grounded way but it also includes the big whole picture not the day-to-day -day. think about the big whole picture of how to propel yourself into the future here with this ending in something that's creative okay they're complementary it's going to work for you here um and and there's a there's a uh an opportunity with this propelling into the future and what it is that y you you want to express yourself with um uh in in this group hopes and dreams setting so look for an opportunity and how you want to express yourself and pro get it propelled into the future in a grounded way now let's move to mercury your ruler your ruler there's two things going on here it's going retrograde and it's also making some aspects again with that grounded way of propelling yourself into the future okay that has to do with um with with the big picture higher education wisdom um, a visionary type of thing so first let's go over that and then we'll go over the mercury retrograde so on june 4th i want you to take notes on uh, what happens that day what communications occur that day that are based on um your hopes and dreams they're based on your your family, your your security, your stability in that area. Um, um, what communications are going on in groups and in in in, um, in something social, something that involves a future. And um, and there's an opportunity that again is going to propel you into the future. It's grounded and structured, but it's, it's, it's wise, it's wisdom, it's intellect, it's higher education, it's all of those things. And that's the theme of what's going on with, with this aspect I'm, I'm going to tell you about. So write down your thoughts, write down your communications, write down who you talk to on June 4th. It's going to come back again on June 30th. 
and this time on June 30th, it's going to be more expansive. It's going to be more about a purpose. It's more driven. It's uh, more directed, and um, it's very expressive um, in, in communicating. So um, the thing is, is Mercury still retrograde? So you don't want to move forward with this. You want to brainstorm. You want to research. You want to read. And, and figure things out you want to review write down um, because on July 20th to the 22nd that's when you can really take more action and moving forward with it what it what it was that you were communicating about that propels you into the future and so I want you to take notes June 4th and then I want you to take notes, especially June 30th and through July 3rd. And then July 20th to July 22nd, that's what's going to come back. Now, Mercury goes retrograde on June 18th, and it goes direct on July 11th. And I want you to take notes on June 1st on, again, communications going on. Uh, what you think about, what you're reading, um, emailing, what, everything you're doing that day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed um, because July 9th through July 14th, that's going to come back. Then I want you to take notes again. Uh, June 3rd, 13th through June 22nd. What happens from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed? Who you're talking to? What are what are you reading? What, what 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 emails are going out? What are you thinking about? Because that is going to come back again in July. So let's see here. Um, so we've got this Mercury, and I want you to watch my, my video on Mercury Retrograde. So you're going to be talking and reviewing during the June 18th to the 11th. You've got to be reviewing and redoing, reorganizing um, something out of the home, okay, that has to do with your hopes and dreams, it has to do with your wishes, friends, groups, and social awareness. Um, and you, it's something that needs to be reviewed and redone. Because um, when it goes direct, um, then things will be clear and you can start to move forward with, with this research, with what you analyzed, with what then you can move forward with after the 11th and wait until Mercury completely wakes up. So even up to July 17th to start moving with that. Okay, now we're going to move on to Venus. Venus um, is retrograde right now. It's uh, retrograde until June 24th and this is something to do with your career so uh, Venus is the planet of love pleasure beauty art VIPs charm and grace what are you reviewing in this what you love about your career what are you having to re redo or rewrite or rethink and and again this is Gemini where Venus is retrograde so it's a lot about writing and reviewing and thinking and intellect it could be about your siblings or about neighbors um, but it's it's career based it's um, has to do with authority figures uh, your reputation your status um, your public image, um, a man could be involved, a masculine energy. It has to do with long-term and older. So you could be reviewing some long-term aspects about your career um, and then 
after June 24th, you could really um, take action in, in what it is that you love, how you want to beautify your career, or how, uh, how you, Venus does rule, how you earn an income. So how you earn an income, it's pleasure, art, and you can move forward with that in your career and um, beautify your surroundings and your words, really um, speaking loving words. And um, I gave you an assignment for April 9th to take notes because between June 19th and June 30th, what happened on that day will come back. So between June 19th and June 30th, take notes so you can compare what happened on April 9th. Okay, what happened on April 9th that's coming back between the 19th and the 30th? Um, so now we move on to Mars, the planet of action and uh, energy, desire, assertion, how, how you physically move your body. Um, Mars is how you give love. Venus is how you want love. And Mars right now is in your partnership sector. So you could be very active um, in looking for a contractual partner, a business partner. Um, um, it's, it's about equality and sharing. It, um, this is... Uh, contractual it's not it's like a, a business um, it's a marriage it's uh, it maybe you're partnering up with somebody in business and you're active in that area and it could involve an institution it could involve um, and by institution I mean hospitals um, schools government um, religion religions those type of this psychology those are institutions um, it could be something very spiritual and of course creative in this realm of your life and this is up through the 27th of June and then um, after that Mars moves into Aries its ruler um, things are going to get active after that so that is it for you, Virgo. Take those notes and uh, we will continue our forecast into July. And please look at my videos about what to do for these retrogrades. It's very important so you can flow through them uh, easily. All right. Thank you, Virgo.